Hi guys, Juice here. I am here with an unboxing video for you guys today. Usually I do my unboxing on Instagram or TikTok, but I don't have a video for you guys for the rest of July, with the exception of my July wrap up right here. And um, August new releases and TBR sneak peek to coming up soon. Um, I just got home from work, so I'm a little exhausted from that. But my, I'm really mad about Owlcrate right now. Um, I love the company that I'm working with. I'm not working with them, but like I love getting their boxes. But June and July boxes are being shipped late. They normally ship around the 15th of every month. But I just now got my June Owl Crate box. So we're here with an Owl Crate unboxing. That's the main portion of this video. June Owl Crate 2021 unboxing. Um, today is Tuesday, July 20th. And I always want to say June, I don't know why. <laughs> Tuesday, July 20th is New Book Tuesday. Um, none of these are new releases that came out today but I have an Amazon box that I bought a couple of books from Amazon, obviously, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna start with my Owl Crate because this is the one I've been waiting for the most and I'm most excited for this one. Um, and then I have three or four books in this box. I can't remember how many books exactly, but some of these I've already read in here and because I borrowed them from my library. And usually when I borrow a book from my library, and if I love them, I will usually buy a copy for myself. Um, so yeah, let's. without further ado, let's get started on the June's Owl Crate box. I haven't been spoiled for it yet, but I think I've been spoiled for the book, which is okay with me because I love guessing what the books are before I even get my box. So let's open this. Ta-da! Ooh. So if you don't know what Owl Crate is, I guess I should explain it. Owl Crate is a monthly subscription box where you get one new hardcover, sometimes two new hardcovers each month, depending on how they do, um, and five to six goodies. And you get a spoiler card, a pamphlet that tells you all the items and who are the, like the credits to the creators and all that. Um, and they are just an amazing company. I love work. I love being part of their company, like work, like I'm not like working with Owl Crate, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, it's been a minute, a hot minute since I filmed an Owl Crate unboxing. Usually I just unbox them myself and just looks at them. Um, so the theme for this is, oh yeah, I forgot the theme, but the theme is go your own way. Hopefully you can see that. That's very pretty. This has the spoiler card, so we're not going to look at this. Um, I will be referring to this though, so hopefully I don't spoil myself throughout the video. Okay, first thing I see, well I see a few items here. I, let me even show you the box first, if I can show you. So these, this month box is one of the bigger boxes, which means there's a couple like big items in here. Um, so the first thing I see is this box, this blue box right here. So we have, looks like, reading through the season to celebrate the unique beauty found in each of the four seasons, we created a special limited collection of drinkware designs by artist McCarran Chamoki. I'm so sorry, I know I butchered that name. Our, our salute to summertime and its carefree days is this beautiful water bottle featuring a quote from Benjamin Ali Sanz, the same author who wrote um, Aristotle and Dante. Um, holds up to 33, wow, 350 milliliter, 12 ounce, hand wash only, do not microwave. Ooh, cute. I don't know if I'll use this. Maybe I'll give it to like my mom or sister maybe. This is cute. Summer was a, was a book of hope. Aw, cute. Look at that. It has flowers. It's not girly, but maybe I could get away with using this water bottle. Let's see. And then nothing really inside yet, obviously, but that's the inside in case y'all were curious. So the first item we have is 
a water bottle inspired by Aristotle and Dante, which I love and I can't believe it's getting a sequel finally. Uh, let me put that right there. The next goodie I see is this maybe tote bag, lunchbox, maybe, I'm not too sure. Let's unwrap this and see what it is. Oh, I think it's a little like lunchbox, which is great because I'm working to the job. So that would help me out with bringing food home back and forth. Oh, it's Velcro right here. Yeah, it's a mini lunchbox. Awesome. I'll definitely use this because college is starting back up too and we can go in person, I believe. Um, so this has a cute little design on it. It like foxes or deers, whichever one it is. Hard to tell on camera too. Um, so yeah, I really love this. And then of course it just keeps everything cool inside. Um, and yeah, I really like that. I'll definitely use this water bottle. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how I feel about the color scheme and all that. But, um, oh, I thought there was a little pouch on the outside. Never mind. I want to see if this is inspired by uh, Grishavers. Um, the lunch tote is inspired by Throne of Glass, inspired by Janie LaCour, designed exclusively for this box only. Awesome. I'll leave all of this information on the card down below in case you guys don't have an owl crate. Um, but this is the second item in there. Really awesome. So two items I will definitely be using. Cause, uh, in the previous boxes, there was a few items that I wouldn't be using. So I'm excited they're putting items in there. Um, next we have is this blue pouch. I kind of remember what each item were because I did saw one unboxing just to see what the heck is in it. Um, so I'm going to throw that down. So let's open this blue pouch for you guys. Let me get closer. Let's open this. Oh, it's a Fable Wind, wind Finder coin. Oh, I already dropped the paper. Oh, well. Ooh, this is Fable inspired, which is Fable is by Adrian Young. I don't know, you can see that it says, um, stop it sailing. I'm so sorry, I know I bridged that. And rough seas on the back. So this is a cool little thing to have. This is like one of the items I probably won't use sadly. So we have that got that out of the way and then the monthly pen is gorgeous what does it say you can be more than what the stars wish for you Ooh, pretty cool so here's the pen if I can get it to focus let's take it out of its little wrapper oh and I think I guessed the book right this month so there it is out of the wrapper really pretty definitely putting this on my pen collectors two of them are filled up so i was waiting for my june box to come so i can put this on the new pen ban pen banner i have wow words uh i love collecting pens if you guys don't know that um and then one more item before the book uh is this black velvet not velvet but this like black sleeve um i don't know what this could be to be honest but let's see, let's see. Ooh. Take the wrapper down there. So yeah, just plain old black uh, little sleeve, which is awesome because I love how they're using less plastic. <gasps> oh, pretty. So it's like a giant key. I don't know what this is gonna be used for, but um, let's see, let's see, let's see. No story ever truly ends as long as it's told. Aw, cute. Um, I want to say this is um, Strange the Dreamer, maybe, inspired. I want to look at the card. I'm going to look at the card because I already know what the book is. Um, so the water bottle is inspired by Aristotle and Dante. Um, the enamel... Oh, this is enamel um, bottle opener, and it's inspired by Starless... The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. 
Um, I haven't read that book yet or The Night Circus yet, but I definitely want to. Uh, but this is very, very pretty. I don't know if I would need a bottle opener, but I have one now. <laughs> I mean, I am 22, so I'm old enough for like drinking if I wanted to, which I won't. But in case I need one, I have a giant key for it. Um, that's really cool. And then the book, the most exciting part. And I didn't know anything about this book before people were uh, talking about it this month. And that is Sisters and Snakes, Sisters of the Snakes, sorry, uh, by Serena and Sasha Nanu. I'm so sorry, I probably broke to this. This cover is gorgeous. And I really hate how it's another blue book, but at least the spine is like orange, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, I mean, I no, don't even have my books in rainbow anymore, but if it was still in rainbow, this would have been hard to put on my show. Let me see if I can get this open without having to use my keys. Ooh, there we go. The struggle was real there for a sec. Um, so, there's an, always an author letter with the original cover. There's the author letter. It says, Welcome to the world of Sisters of Sisters of the Snakes, where magic, forbidden romance, a looming war, and two uh, lost sisters awaiting. Rhea and Rainy were born out of a desire to see two brown twins on the page wielding magic and discovering the bonds of sisterhood. Within these pages, you'll find a sassy talking snake, dark prophecy, and a lush Indian fantasy world that you will ugh, that will sweep you away. Enjoy. Very cute author letter. Um, so this is what the cover looks like. There's the beautiful spine. There's the back. I don't know if you can read that or not. Um, I don't know much about this, like, at all. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Sorry. Distracted. Look at this nakedness. It's gorgeous. And then there's artwork on the desk jacket. I totally forgot that they were doing that. Um, I know other book companies do that, but it's rare when Owl Crate does it. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I love this. This is stunning. Um, but yeah, this is so worth the wait, I think, because... Now that I got the book, I can read it. Um, so yeah, the June Owl Crate book is Sisters and Snakes. And of course it's signed by the authors, both of them too, which is awesome. Um, and I believe it's their debut fantasy novel too. So I love supporting debut authors. Um, let me throw that back there. So this is the June Owl Crate book. Let me put that up there. Look at that gorgeousness. Um, and then there's a couple more items in here, apparently. I didn't know until I reached the bottom. Um, for the July box, it's the theme art potion and poison. Um, every July box will contain a kitchen item designed by M Emmy Mac Illustration. And it says, P.S. If you're already a subscriber, your account will be automatically renewed. And then we have the six Crimson Cranes bookmark, which is actually pretty funny because I have six Crimson Cranes right here. You can't really see it, but it's down on my shelf, I promise. Um, magic that magic this strong won't remain silent for long. Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, which is awesome because I'm hoping to read that this month. So I can definitely use this when I'm reading the book. Um, and then we got this gorgeous, gorgeous art print. Um, I can't read that because I can't read cursive, um, but this is a gorgeous art print. What is this inspired by? Let's see, I'm gonna move that. What is this art print inspired by? Uh, Sister and Snakes. Bloodstone, we're enamel pen. For your art print. Oh, Strange the Dreamer. This is inspired by Strange the Dreamer, which is awesome. So I knew there was a Strange the Dreamer uh, item in here. I just didn't know what it would be. That is gorgeous. And then this is a pamphlet that tells you everything you have in this box. It has an interview with the authors. This is the Owl Crate cover, obviously. And then this is the original. Um, 
It has fun little crosswords and I believe an enemy with all the vendors. If you like Sisters of the Snakes, try Crown of Feathers by Nikki Peru Peretta, which I recommend. Haunted, Hunted by the Skies by Tanza. I'm so gonna butcher her last name, I'm so sorry. And then read Fire with Fire by Destiny Soroya, which is funny because I actually got that book from Beacon Book Box. Um, and yeah, I and then it just has like the photo challenges and then it has the playlist that you can listen to and they always talk about other new releases. Ace of Spades, uh, For the Wolf, Darling, A Season of Sinister Dreams, and The Nature of Witches. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And that was everything in my Owl Crate box. Um, and now we're gonna go to my Amazon unboxing. And I am so excited. I really hope none of these books are damaged because I already have to return two books that I got in June. I don't know if it's too late to do that now. But let's open this. I'm not even opening this on camera for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. Struggle is real, people. <gasps> They're here. Yay. Take the bubble wraps out. This is a taller, this is a tall hardback. Okay, so the first book we have is Ray Bearer by Jordan E. Funko. Um, I read this one earlier this year and it's actually one of my new favorite books of 2021. I read this because I think it was Jason from Easy Cat's book club pick for January or February. I can't remember when I actually read this, but this cover, like how can you not want this cover in your book collection? Um, this is an African-American inspired fantasy story following our main character who I already forgot her name. Uh, Tasseria, I'm sorry if I to that, um, she has to go through this quest to find this like god or whatever it was. I kind of forgot about it already because it's been like February, January, like it's kind of far into the year. But I just remember listening to the audio of this and really loving it and the sequel comes out August 17th and I pre-ordered the sequel, so hopefully I'll get it the day it's released. Um, let me scoop that back. And then these last two books are by the same author, so there was only three books in here. Um, but I love the first book and my friend Lori just read the sequel to this and she loved book two even more, which is crazy because I love book one. And that is The Extraordinary and Flashfire by TJ Klune. I am so happy to have these in my collection. Again, I read The Extraordinaries last year and really loved it. Uh, I gave it five out of five stars. It was so funny. If you love Renegades by Marissa Meyer, this is what you need to read next. Um, I really love this and I was so excited for the sequel that I kind of forgot when it was coming out. So usually sequels don't really come out in July. So maybe that's why I kinda, it kind of slipped my mind a little bit. Uh, but I haven't read the sequel yet, but my friend Lori has and she loved it, so I can't wait. I think this is a trilogy, so I just have to wait for book three to come out next year, I believe. So look at these matching covers, they're so amazing. And I believe, I'm not sure if I got them. No, sadly I didn't, never mind. I was gonna say, I believe I got these as reversible dust jackets, but um, oh, the sequel had it, that's what it was. Look at this reversible dust jacket, so cool. Um, I read two books by T.J. Klune. I read The House in Israeli and Sea by him. And then of course I read The Extraordinaries. I just love both of them. They're both super fun, super lighthearted. But The Extraordinaries has some LGBT representation in it. So we love that. And yeah, that's the end of this unboxing slash mini book haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you read any of these books. Let me know if you got the Owl Crate box. I'm so excited to read Sisters and Snakes and Flashfire because I've already read the other two, but I just wanted them in my collection. But this is my mini book haul and my Owl Crate unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've read any of these books yet and I'll chat with you guys down in the comments below. I hope you all have a great day or night and I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.